All right, we're here at the Luxury Tech Show in New York City, one of my favorite companies, Questron. These guys are not only the leader, but basically the inventor of home automation. And Delia is here with us. You've got Ping. It's an entirely new system and setup for Questron. It's much more affordable than in the past, but not only that, it is actually easier to customize and use. This is very forward thinking for Questron. Very much so. We've had a dedicated and loyal custom installation base for a very long time. And although we still want to promote that these are going to be professionally installed products, we do want to give homeowners a little bit of that DIY customization so they can take some of the power into their own hands and change scenes and change lighting levels and change the way that their shades act when they want to without having to call somebody. Yeah, I mean, that's been the thing in the past. It's always a wonderful system. It, it always works, but then you got to call the integrator and say, hey, I just want my blinds to go halfway. Can you reprogram this? And then it's a, a house call, a day, a whole thing. Now you can make those adjustments yourself. You still need them to do the integration of the system. It's still very high end, very robust, but you can make these small changes on your own, which is great. Yeah, we think it's a perfect combination of the two. We're glad to see DIY products hit the scene, be so popular. They're really helping the cause of home automation in general, and that's fantastic. But what we don't want to see is people losing out on all of the great things you can do with home automation that a professional is going to be able to bring to you. You know, the first time you do something, you never get everything perfect, and you never make the system as great as it can be. Let me just tell you, I know from experience, I'm not a DIY or a DIY -er. I, I got to tell you something. I can't fix things, like I can't install things is really what it is. Like I can't build a house, I can't put the panels in the wall, I can't change the dimmers, I can't do that stuff. Maybe on the tech side I could do a little bit, but also like I'm not a certified Questron guy, I don't know the code and all that stuff, so I'm cool with somebody else programming that as long as I can make the adjustments myself. Exactly, and a lot of clients who love Crestron are going to be in the same boat as you are. And so now we've got a lot of new features too. You've got full iPad and iPhone integration. Yep. In addition to that, you're talking thermostats, and you've got this new puck. Oh yeah, uh, actually it's right here. It's a little two button puck and I can turn lights on and off, I can raise and lower shades, I can do whatever I want with this little guy. It's just battery operated, it can go anywhere. And even, even be used as a panic button. It could be used as a panic button, exactly. You can uh, connect it to the side of a bed stand, so if you hear that bump in the night, you call it the bump in the night button, and boom, turn on all your lights, maybe you, you send a little alarm going, whatever you need it to be. I think what's really great, too, is you guys have made a great remote control for the television, for the audio, for all sorts of other things, including the blinds and stuff, but realistically, it's a real remote control and it's affordable. You can have one on each side of the bed stand in the master bedroom. You don't have to worry about getting your iPad out or using one of these clunky touch screens in the past that you've had to keep by your bedside. You can just have a real remote control to do a lot of the functions. Just, you want a normal like tactile, tactile remote. Yeah, a tactile button. Uh, iPads are fantastic, phones are great, but you'll notice very quickly after using them that there's no uh, surface tension to tell you where your finger is supposed to be. So you always have to look at it in order to operate it. Sometimes you just want to pick up a remote, point out the TV and make the volume go up and down or change a channel. And a regular standard remote will give you that. And having a very, very simplistic, very ergonomic, very simple remote control that's similar to every remote control you've experienced in your life makes it very easy for you to transition over to a Crestron remote. And not only that, but you guys have made your entire system much smaller. Um, and a, a much smaller footprint. So instead of taking up a rack or two of equipment, you're talking about taking up like this, maybe two Apple TVs or three Apple TVs in footprint. Actually, that's a huge development for us. So over the course of the last probably three to five years, we've been able to add a lot of wireless control into the system, which has allowed us to move the, the technology from the rack out to the little nodes. So now the technology is distributed throughout the home instead of being located in one centralized box. It reduces the amount of wiring required, it reduces the amount of space required, and it allows you to get a lot more system for your money without having to take up a bunch of space. Awesome. Here's the thing I like most about Questron. Questron's a great company, makes great products, innovates, is the leader, and in my mind, I certainly I think the, the company that started home automation, but you guys, what you do for the community it's just phenomenal. You've got the baseball field in Crestkill, New Jersey. Uh, you, you do a great things for ages 
you know, little all the way up to adults. You sponsor uh, men's league hockey teams at the Ice House in Hackensack and across New Jersey. And we have an Eagles program. And you have a what? The Eagles program. What is the Eagles program? So we annually donate a system to a wounded warrior. Wow. Yes. A wounded warrior. Yes. I love that. I love that. We talk about this all the time, that it's so important to support our troops and, and those who have given not only uh, limbs, but also their lives. Exactly. And when you come back to the States and you're trying to get back into your life and you're maybe missing a limb, it's very, very difficult to just get back into the swing of things. And an automation system can help that greatly by giving you one touch to close blinds and turn off lights to set your security and really give these guys a sense of autonomy. It, it, it seems like to me that this is something that's deep rooted in Questron's roots and the foundation. This isn't something that was started yesterday, not just the Eagle program, but all of it. Can you talk about how important giving back to the community is to Questron? I. I don't think I can explain to you how important it is. Since the beginning of the company in Creskill, New Jersey, which is why we're called Crestron, it's Creskill with Tron at the end, uh, Mr. F and Mr. Feldstein, our, our owner and founder, gave back to the community in every way that he could, from helping kids in the neighborhood to being able to, to help the, the veterans after they come back from service. It was just very important to us to stay it's, involved. It's excellent. 1964, the company was started. Uh, home automation at that point was like not even a gleam in anybody's eye. In fact, at the World's Fair, when GE had Tomorrowland, there really was no home automation. And I think that that's one of the things that, uh, that spurred on the creation of Questron, but also people must have said he was crazy. Well, you wouldn't believe how we started. Uh, Mr. F actually had invented a projector, a slide projector remote that would move the slides to the next slide. And the company he had built them for, after they placed their order, went out of business before he could pay them. So Mr. F had all these projectors slide remote controls and went out and started trying to sell them. And as he did that, people were like, well, can you make this automated? And can you make a remote for that? And one product added to another product, added to another product until you have what you see here. Well, I think it's a great story. I know that he uh, recently passed, and, and, and I know you guys are a close-knit family. It must be a little sad and a little different. How, how is it different, and how have you guys kind of bonded and come together to continue in his legacy? Well, it, it is a very strong-knit family. Uh, the same people who were in the meetings are still in those meetings now. It's not like we changed the reins and handed them over overnight. We've always been kind of a group-run business. And so we're sad to see one of our head members no longer be in those meetings, but the people who have been working towards the goals that we've set out are still working towards them, and we hope to continue to add to the family and continue this tradition. We've still kept it in the family. Dan Feldstein is our new leader, and, um, and we miss Mr. F. Listen, you guys have great products. Great technology. It's a lot of fun. You have a lot of fun with Questron. I remember to this day, I told you off camera the first time I ever saw a system. Yeah. Uh, an apartment on Central Park West in New York City. I watched it being wired. They, it looked like they were wiring an airplane. And then I watched it in action after, and I was just blown away. I was about 17 years old. And it's always amazed me ever since then. I love it. It's phenomenal. It's great technology. It's, I think, among the highest end you can do for your home. And it's a lot of fun. It puts a smile on your face. Oh, completely. There's no more enjoyable industry to work in than home automation, and there's no more enjoyable company to work for than Questron. Well, it's a great company, and I love what you guys do in the community, so everybody can check out Questron.com, and of course, these new products, as well as going to the iTunes store, iOS for your iPhone and for your iPad, and check out the apps. Even just downloading them, you can download some demos and play with them to see what the possibilities are of what you can do. But literally, it's like operating everything in your house. Other than the toaster, can you do the toaster? If you got an IP toaster, I can control it. <laughs> there you go. That's Delia. I'm Michael. Thanks for joining us from the tech show. I guess we're probably going back to the set now, but this has been terrific.